Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Alfred Hitchcock's The Man Who Knew Too Much in 1956. Um, so yes, here we are, uh, another Hitchcock review, and um, yes, after of course, North Went Off West, um, you know, which I revealed was my favourite Hitchcock film of all time, um, the ultimate Hitchcock for me. Here we are, um, you know, going to kickstart again some more Hitchcock reviews, and um, this time, another film from the set. Um, yeah, believe it or not, North Went Off West is not in the set, uh, but yes. The, this is a remake, um, you know, by Hitchcock, of course. Um, he also done the the original, um, The Man Who Knew Too Much. Uh, this is the one he remade. Um, it's an American remake. That was a British film um, in 1934. Um, have not seen that yet. And uh, yeah, you know, most people do actually. Regard, it's it's kind of debating, you know, what what one is better. But it's more leaning to, towards this, uh, you know, this remake that is the better one of the two. And um, yeah, it is enti It is very, very different, though. Um, you know, I think. It's a very, very different plot and, um, you know, the script and just the way, of course, I imagine, um, you know, the style and stuff because Hitchcock certainly developed, um, you know, over this time in terms of how he, you know, how he shot his films and stuff and his over the overall signature style, um, you know, and um, yes, of course, Jimmy Stewart, um, you know, as Dr. Ben uh, McKenna and, um, yeah, he's with his family, um, you know, this is a film, it's a very, very interesting Hitchcock film, um, you know, and certainly actually um, what he's doing with was music um, weirdly the credits um, this time actually it's just basically this 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 orchestra um, and you actually see Bernard Herrmann um, there you know kind of uh, you know conducting and stuff it's very interesting very weird uh, but just kind of yeah it's interesting it's different um, different for a Hitchcock film very very different this film um, but I do absolutely love this film um, you know once again you know, I didn't expect it to be you know an absolutely you know great great film it's not really um, that acclaimed you know to the point where you know, it's known to be one of his, his great films, um, but actually for me, I was really surprised uh, when I first watched it, uh, you know, last year, um, actually, uh, around about March, I believe, and um, yeah, something like that, and yes, I absolutely loved the film, and um, it's the first time that I've rewatched it, and it's just amazing, this film, um, you know, certainly for me, another masterpiece, um, you know, it's not, you know, some, one of the very, very best films or anything, uh, but it is, it's among my favourites, I um, absolutely adore it, and um, yes, you know, it's, Starts off, um, as I say, with his family on a bus. Um, Jimmy Stewart plays Ben and um, Doris Day, who unfortunately, of course, we have to say, passed uh, passed away this month. Um, and yeah, she of course plays Joe. Um, you know, they kind of incorporate, you know, the fact that she she was a singer in real life into the film. Um, of course, she is, um, you know, kind of a sing known to be a singer in the film, and um, that that kind of gets. You know, there's things involved in into the you know in the plot that, that kind of um, you know touch on this and um, yes, basically the son Hank as well. Um, they're on this bus and um, they kind of encounter this this guy Louis and um, you know it's a mysterious guy. Um, but yes, basically it, it kind of unfolds from there. Um, once at the bus, it's in Morocco um, for most of the first half and um, you know due to and of course this is another spoiler review um, due to kind of plot thing uh, things. An assassination uh, plots that, that kind of uh, get unraveled, um, and of course, Hank uh, gets taken. Um, you know, he gets uh, taken away, and the rest, rest of the film is basically them. You know, Jimmy Stewart, Doris Day, this uh, these parents um, trying to get Hank back, um, and of course, they go all the way to London. Um, so it's kind of a globe uh, trotting film, a little bit, um, kind of an adventure film. Um, and yes, they go go to London, you know, where most of the, uh, the rest of the film is to take place, and uh, of course. Kind of uh, mostly ends up, um, you know, in some of the final act in the Royal Albert Hall. Um, so, yeah, just really, really um, amazing uh, kind of climax to the film. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah, you know, this film it's kind of uh, two two halves, um, you could say. And it's just I was really surprised um, by how great this was, um, and just I just fell in love with the film. Um, you know, this set um, really is just it's something else. You know, once again, I would recommend this highly. Um, you know, it's, it's at times fairly cheap as well, but the amount of uh, masterpieces on this is something else. Um, even what what I thought would be kind of um, maybe just you know enjoyable Hitchcock's, um, you know that people don't really talk about, Trouble with Harry and stuff, turn out to be underrated masterpieces. Um, for me, this is no exception. Um, I do prefer this um, to the Trouble with Harry and uh, Jimmy Stewart, of course. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a bit different for him as well, the role. Um, but yeah. As always, just so enjoyable in the film um, as Ben, um, and you know this this film um, has so much uh, you know stuff I love about it, you know, and so many great great sequences. Um, you know, it's very it is a bizarre film at times, um, you know, by 
you know, for Hitchcock, uh, it's very, very different. Um, it's got some really hilarious sequences. Um, actually, for me, one of the funniest, literally one of the very funniest sequences in cinema, um, you know, involves the kind of the meal time uh, where they meet this other couple who, you know, become very, very involved in the plot. Um, and actually, of course, you know that, that they do get involved in, in, in the kind of taking of Hank. Um, you know, this, this sequence, though, um, and they join them for dinner and stuff, um, you know, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, and of course, it is in part, you know, to kind of Jimmy Stewart. And, and you know, I always find him mostly uh, at some point in all of the films I've seen from him, um, really funny. Um, sometimes just the kind of bumbling nature of him, you know, and this is used perfectly, um, you know, in, in this scene, you know, the bit where, of course, um, you know, they sit down at first, uh, him and Doris Day, and, uh, you know, because of his, you know, his lanky legs and stuff, you know, it, of course, because of this, um, he sits down and, yeah, it's a struggle for him the way, even even then, I was just really, it just in stitches. And then, of course, um, the scene escalates. Um, it involves, of course, um, you know, kind of great, great comedy scenes. Um, you know, of course, when he's trying to turn around and talk to the couple, um, the other couple that are there. Of course, he, you know, he hurts his neck and stuff. Um, and then, you know, the bit where he's, he's trying to, in a particular way, um, eat this food. Um, it's just absolutely hilarious um and this whole sequence just um you know it's completely hysterical um you know it's one of the funniest hitchcock um kind of sequences maybe even a contender for the the funniest um it's laugh out loud stuff um and, and then of course once again um you know kind of hitchcock does these really really intense thrillers um this film actually gets very very uh, you know kind of emotional at times um but yeah you know as always great great comedy in his films um and this is an exception as i say could be some of the funniest stuff Hitchcock has ever done. Um, and, you know, just in cinema, it is absolutely hilarious. Um, and just, I couldn't believe it, you know, it's just so funny. Um, and then, of course, the film escalates and, uh, you know, Hank is taken. This is what drives the rest of the film, really. Um, you know, and also, it's kind of a MacGuffin once again. But, but yes, this is kind of all, this whole kind of uh, mysterious plot, um, you know, involving many, many different characters. You've got this classic um, kind of setup and uneasy kind of, the way people are looking at the main characters in the film, you know, it's kind of, of paranoia. Um, you feel this, you know, very, very atmospheric once again, you know, extremely atmospheric. Um, and of course, yes, um, especially when they get to London, um, and you know, it's so mysterious the way that Hitchcock kind of, you know, sustains this. And, um, you know, as well, when you get to that final act, um, you know, the emotions are high. You you know, I was so rooting for this, um, these parents to get the son back um, of Hank. And then you've got this really, you could say experimental, um, but it was too, it's too, you know, refined to be called that really as well. You know, it's kind of this operatic kind of sequence, um, you know, the orchestra, um, you know, of course, there's so many things that are set up before this, you know, um, reveal different, inf you know, information about the the, uh, the plan um, for assassination. Uh, and of course, you know all these things, Hitchcock kind of plants the seeds, um, and of course, then he does dramatic irony there and everything um, and I've got this massive maybe 10 minute sequence um, you know and this orchestra is playing out and um, some people you know will find this bizarre but I, I find it brilliant um, what he does here and just the way he uses music um, juxtaposition of all the characters you know Jimmy Stewart's character of Ben and, and Joe played by Doris Day and she gives such a great performance in this film um, you know really quite an emotional one as well um, you know and just the way that she she des desperately wants her son back and you know these all these characters are involved, um, and the villains um, in this great, great sequence. Um, and the way Hitchcock controls the scene, uh, the mood of the scene, through through the um, you know the cutting and just the, the use of music uh, playing out in the background. Uh, it's a great, great sequence. Um, I was blown away by it really. Um, and then of course you've got the weird. You kind of got like a coda um, as well. You know this is very, very um, wonderfully structured. With uh, the, the song, uh, Whatever Will Be, Will Be, um, you know, of course, sung by Doris Day. It's actually, of course, uh, got an Oscar for best song. Um, so, yeah, very interesting there. And, um, yeah, it's kind of, it doesn't break the tone, you know, the way that this kind of um, the song is used at times uh, throughout the film. And it's really, really wonderfully um, kind of used as a coda, as I say, um, you know, kind of in a haunting way, you could say, um, you know, in the final act. You know, early on it's used and it's kind of a jolly, upbeat scene. Um, but, you know, this one is, is kind of, yeah, it's really something, um, you know, what he does here. And, and, of course, I'd love to hear, you know, the comments on this film because it's such an interesting one that doesn't really get talked about too much, um, you know, within Hitchcock's uh, filmography um, and Jimmy Stewart and stuff. Um, but, yes, you know, just this final act um, and then the kind of the satisfying ending, um, as we know, and 
and Hank, um, you know, gets reunited with the parents. Um, and this is one of the things, um, it's not at the end of the day about this kind of plot, um, this mysterious plot. You know, it is about um, these parents reuniting and, you know, with their son. And it's just, it's so uh, warm and kind of um, sincere once again. Just a, a, a feel-good film um, and just, you know, all these, these com uh, comedy touches throughout the film. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the kind of really, really intense, um, you know, sustained moments. Um, yeah, of course, you've got these kind of great set pieces, uh, especially in the second half. And, you know, Jimmy Stewart is, is climbing, uh, you know, up the, the tower and stuff. And um, just, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect with this film, really. I thought I'd like it, um, you know, when I first saw it last year. Um, but, but I really absolutely adore this film. You know, I think um, just uh, really wonderfully shot. Um, there is a couple of issues on the actual transfer of this, um, you know, just some patchy elements, especially in the Morocco scenes, um, you know, involving the colour, the flickering and stuff, it kind of a bit distracting at times, um, but, you know, it's just the shame this doesn't get, um, you know, a, a perfect transfer, but, you know, that's just uh, to do with the actual, the Blu-ray and stuff, um, but the way this film is shot um, is really, really wonderful, um, and of course, you've got kind of a bit of both, you know, you've got these exotic locations at first, then you've got, you know, stuff in, in London, um, and yeah, it's just kind of a perfect mix, um, you know, in the way he kind of captures this, you know, it perfectly captures the kind of, um, you know, the, the the feel of the Morocco scenes, the kind of exotic, as I say, locations, and then you've got the kind of more gritty, um, you know, look of, of London and stuff, and yeah, it just, um, it doesn't, you know, feel, feel separate, it feels as one, um, this narrative is really, really great, um, and I just love, I love the setup to this film, um, it's perfect, um, and it's just, yeah, it kind of um, it feels so at ease at times, you know, the kind of, uh, as I say, the comedy sequences that go on for quite a while, luckily. You've got this charming um, kind of couple, um, and Jimmy Stewart is so enjoyable in the film. He brings the charm, the, the comedy, you know, kind of vulnerability again, uh, as he does in these roles. Um, you know, he was, yeah, he's my second favourite actor. He was just such a legend, um, you know, just behind Robert De Niro, although at times very, very close, I can't really say, you know. That De Niro, uh, you know, knocks him out of the park because just for enjoyability as well. Jimmy Stewart, you know, these these two actors, very very different, uh, but the best two for me, uh, you know, uh, in cinema. And yes, you know, um, Jimmy Stewart is just so good in this film. Um, and all these four films, um, you know, uh, Jimmy Stewart was in, you know, with Hitchcock, uh, Rope, um, which for me actually personally is a masterpiece. Um, and it's a very very underrated film, I think. Um, some critics and stuff don't think is that great um, and you know gimmick uh, very very famous uh, critics of course uh, and yes you know I do think it's, it's a masterpiece um, one of the best films ever made and then you know even higher in the best films ever made you know Vertigo and Rear Window and then you've got this film um, don't quite prefer it to, to these um, you know these ones it's probably if I had to pick the worst out of the four but, but I absolutely love the film um, it's another one of my top 250 films easily, you know, I just love the film, um, the editing is really wonderful, um, the juxtaposition, um, you know, especially, you know, in, in, in the scenes towards the end of the film, and um, just, uh, you know, the script is really, really wonderful, actually, um, you know, it's very, very involving with the plot, you know, the atmosphere, um, you know, that's portrayed through the visuals, but, but you know, the script is so strong, um, and then you've got the humanity to the, to the uh, you know, the characters, the story, um, you know, and of course, the relationships um, are set up so wonderfully. This charming, uh, feel-good, kind of um, joyous uh, slice of family life uh, when they're on holiday, of course. The bus scene was just really, you know, it's kind of set the tone um, for these moments, you know, really, just really enjoyable. Um, so, so enjoyable. Um, the acting is great by Doris Day. She's so great in this, you know, so great in this film. She gives the, the more emotional performance of the film. And then you've got Jimmy Stewart as well, um, who, of course, it's just great. Um, and you've got so many great supporting characters as well. Um, you know, some of the some of the side characters as well are very, very um, menacing. Um, and it's just it's just got such a great uh, feel. This film, um, you know, but while also being very, very intense and kind of you know so involving um, in this kind of plot. These characters, though, um, you know, these are the, you know the things that don't get overtaken. Um, and just just a masterpiece for me. The way it's shot, um, once again, the perfect use of angles. I never find any flaws really in any Hitchcock films the way they're shot, um, you know, excluding uh, Lifeboat, you know, I don't, uh, yeah, that was completely different, very experimental, um, I didn't respond to that one, uh, personally, I don't like it, um, surprisingly it's the only Hitchcock I don't like, um, the rest of them so far, 
I love, um, but that's that's not good for me. Um, but yes, you know, apart from that, you know, all the other ones have been amazing. The way you know, the way he shoots his films, um, you know, the style is so genius. Um, the way he kind of reveals things visually. Um, once again, no question, you know, it's just it's it, easy uh, masterpiece for me. And um, you know, it's yeah. Of course, we'll get to ones that probably won't be uh, masterpieces. Not all of the kind of fifty odd, you know, will be will be masterpieces. But um, you know, from the set, um, you know, and. Uh, of course it is, it is called the Masterpiece Collection, um, so yeah, but this film, I didn't expect it to be one, um, and it is for me, uh, personally. But yes, um, this film does get full marks, of course, um, you know, it's just a wonderful film, um, and it does get, of course, 100%, um, but it does edge into my plus tiers, um, for enjoyment, of course, the combination there. It is in my top 200 films, um, it's quite a strong tier 3, um, so yes, um, this is a film it is a special one, once again, um, by Hitchcock. I do love this film. Um, you know, it's not not his top 10 uh, for me quite. Um, but yeah, just, you know, that's very, very um, hard to get into. Um, and to get, you know, it's top five and stuff is impossible, really. Um, but yeah, actually, this film is so, so good. Um, I think it's masterful um, in the way he balances comedy, um, kind of warm family, uh, you know, uh, elements. Um, just globe uh kind of feel to the film. You know, it's adventurous in a way, but yeah. Of course, um, you know, the way they want to get Hank back, um, you know, it adds the emotional undercurrent to the film, very, very human stuff, um, and just, you know, a perfect film really for me, um, haven't got any problems with it, and um, just, yeah, wow, you know, really um, surprised me this one. I love this film, um, cinematography of course, um, once again, great, um, just, just, you know, there's, there's no problems for me with any cinematography, you know, in this, uh, the editing, is amazing. Um, this film just flows wonderfully. Um, the way the plot unravels, combined with the character development uh, and you know the love uh, for these parents have on this of their son, um, and just you know this this adds so much to the film. The drive of it, uh, and of course, this this uh, you know kind of atmosphere as well. Um, the perfectly capturing the different locations, um, you know, in the film. The script is so tight and uh, just so involving. And yeah, you know the use of music in the film um, really really works wonderfully. Um, kind of. Culminating in that last, you know, that final act with operatic sequences, um, you know, that just just combine tension as well um, perfectly um, in there. Dramatic irony, uh, you know, Hitchcock really defines that, um, and just it's just so so great. You know, this film is a masterpiece in my opinion, and um, you know, certainly, you know, this is one I really really recommend, of course, because I can recommend you know Scythe and stuff, but the chances are, you know, you've already seen this, um, you know, you've probably seen Rear Window and stuff, um, or at least got them, you know, these films on your watch list. Um, but this one, um, you know, doesn't get too much talk. Um, but once again, um, I do think it's a masterpiece and um, essential to see this. You know, um, I don't imagine the the kind of uh, you know original one topping this. Um, you know, it's just this is so so good. Um, but I will check out that film, of course. I will be watching all the Hitchcocks. Um, you know, the ones that I can get anyway. Um, of course, eventually, which I can't say when that'll be. Uh, it could be, you know, next year. Um, but certainly try and do it. Before the end of the year, um, you know, watch all of his films and do the ranking, um, which will be uh, probably it will probably have to be in, in you know a couple of videos. That you know, I'll try and try and make that just two videos, but it could be three. Um, you know, to do all of his films, um, you know, and talk about them ordered. Um, so yeah, uh, but this film is so so good. Um, I love this um, Jimmy Stewart, absolute legend. Um, Doris Day, wonderful in this film. She was great. Um, I've seen her in a couple of other films as well. Um, the Touch of Mink. Cary Grant, a very obscure film, um, you know, no one's really heard of that too much, but I really enjoyed that, um, and yeah, you know, this film has just an amazing cast, um, and, uh, you know, it's just directed wonderfully once again, um, really surprised me the way it kind of has a, an emotional undercurrent, but it's just, it's so kind of light as well at times, and enjoyable, and, and relaxing, um, you know, especially early on, and uh, yeah, just another wonderful thriller, um, it's hilarious, um, especially early on, you know, it's got great, great kind of um, musical sequences, you know, operatic sequences, and um, yeah, you know, a pretty um, standard ending, but but one I loved. Um, so yeah, I think um, a masterpiece. Absolutely love the film. Highly, highly recommend it, of course. Um, once again, and um, yes, thanks for watching my review.